one of those Mac users that loves to dig in and play with hidden features and settings, this video is for you. You'll find 11 tips and tricks to help seasoned and beginner Mac users to get the most out of their OS X experience. Terminal commands among shortcuts that every Mac user should know and use. Let's get started. Stacks are quite a handy addition to your Mac stock, a stack that automatically contains your most recent applications. These can be found under the Apple menu, but it's much more convenient to have them in the dock. To accomplish this feature, simply copy and paste this code into your terminal. You find this line of code in the description. Once you've completed that command, type kill all dock to relaunch your dock with the new stack. Use this code in terminal to activate a really nice looking list view in stacks, complete with icons and a scroll bar. As with the previous example, use kill all dock to make the change take effect. One of the most well known and widely used terminal commands. Use the next code to make hidden files visible in the finder. Set it back to notary hide the files. If you find yourself constantly embarrassed by your messy desktop habits, download Camouflage or Present Your Apps, a free app that helps hiding everything on your desktop. It's easy to miss that you can actually add item shortcuts to the top of your Finder windows. Simply drag the application into the space to the left of the Spotlight field. If you have files that you often use as templates, and want to prevent accidental replacement of the original file, you can use the stationary pad option. Enabling this on a specific file, makes it so that when you try to open that file, the Finder creates a duplicate, and opens that instead. To find this option, press Command I, Get Info, and click the Stationary Pad checkbox under the labels in the General section. While Quick Look is launched, hold down the Option key to turn into full screen mode. Have you ever wanted to set a screensaver as your desktop background? Well, it's perfectly possible. Just use the following command in Terminal. When you've had enough fun, Hit Ctrl C to return back to normal. The Safari Inspector is an impressive suite of development tools for examining and debugging web pages. It's hidden by default, but you can use the following command in terminal to enable it. Sometimes your Mac will simply refuse to do something that seems completely routine and normal. This can be anything from installing and running a new application to duplicating files in the Finder. When you've tried everything else to solve the problem, try opening up Disk Utility in the Utilities folder and repair your disk permissions. Many users have abandoned OS X dashboard functionality, either completely or in favor of alternatives. If you never want to see your dashboard again, you can kill it completely with the following terminal command. To bring it back, change the yes to no.